Now, I still think the collaborative robot has the potential to have a quicker cycle time than the humanoid robot at this particular time, especially with the way that, that Tesla is going about it, because Tesla is doing an AI approach. And when I say AI approach, it means they are observing the environment with your AI, they're then taking that uh, environment and executing the output of the humanoid robot, right? Which this is not the case for a traditional robot. A traditional robot is coded line by line. It's not AI at all. A human uh, such as myself has to go in and program this robot. So that's the same for traditional robots as well as collaborative robots. Now, some of the programming platforms are becoming easier and you can do like drag and drop type of programming and it's like function block, like do that. You know, the code's still like, do this, do this, do this, do this, a very linear style code, but it's nowhere near like AI, where it's just like, just go, just learn your environment. Let me show you how to do something and I'll learn it over some time. So I think also once they, they have some advancements in the AI side of things, the, the robot's gonna be extremely powerful.